girls you join me in my rather sunny bedroom today to declutter my wardrobe i actually did this exact video around eight months ago when i used to live in london and it basically just gave you guys the opportunity to see the clothes on me and if you have a similar body type to me then you could see what they look like on you as well so i was doing that along with selling them on vintage and it just meant that you guys could have like an extra insight to what i was selling so that's what we're doing again today i don't know if any of you will remember this wardrobe i've only recently got it and it's already bursting at the seams i don't know if you can even see that yeah <laughs> i'm a hoarder of clothes let's be honest that's not news to any of us and i just need to have a declutter every now and then because i always buy new clothes for the seasons and then i forget that i already did that the year before and just don't wear them so i'd rather get rid of them and make a little bit of money from them or give them to charity so that i can make space for my new ones and also i don't like to buy clothes if i'm not getting rid of old stuff i'll either hoard them and never buy any new clothes ever again or i will just completely wipe my wardrobe and start afresh normally it's the first option i'm not gonna lie i'm very behind on trends i don't jump on trends very often so we actually have a sponsor for today's video which is vintage honestly such a perfectly fitting brand and if you guys haven't heard of them then you are massively missing out because it means you can sell your clothes and keep 100 of the profits which obviously sometimes that doesn't happen sometimes you get like 30 percent fees and yeah what was the point in selling them on there anyway you know i'd rather just keep it so the fact that they don't take any money away from me is such a massive encouragement for me to sell on that and yeah if you guys want to check out Vinted then definitely check the link in the description. I'm just going to jump over to the Vinted app on my phone and show you just how easy it is to upload your items on there and then you can start earning some money. So first of course download the Vinted app and then from there you can choose your username, you can do your own profile photo and everything, you have a cute little profile and from this you can fill your Vinted wardrobe and let me just show you how easy it is. So you see the little plus button where it says sell you just click that. So from here you can upload photos of your items, you can actually upload up to 20 which is so good because sometimes I want to see like the label, the back, the sleeve how it fits you know what i mean there's a lot of photos that i want to see so vintage allows you to show as much as possible of the items and then obviously you have your title your description of the item and a really good feature is the fact that you can put like the brand in category and also the condition i have had such nightmares in the past of buying from people and they don't mention the condition anywhere because like i haven't asked and they haven't stated it and then it's came and it's been completely ruined so i guess it's partially my fault but also they didn't state the condition so i really really like this feature i normally buy pre-loved or fairly brand new you then have your price on there but you can also select something about swapping if somebody messages you and is interested in this item but you also like the look of something on their profile then it means your item is up for swaps and you can just swap the item and then you can just click upload it is honestly that easy and then if we go to my wardrobe you can see all of the items that i am listed to sell so if you do want to check out my profile and you do see anything in this video that you like then definitely click the link in my description maybe we can swap some things maybe i'll see something on your profile that i really really like and yeah who knows also if you're looking to sell anything think other than clothing on vintage then you definitely can you can also buy like homeware accessories tableware literally anything you can think of you can sell on vintage it also has loads of filters on the top so if you are searching for a specific brand like i've just searched for ralph lauren because i love their oversized shirts you can then filter from size brand condition color price literally anything that you can think of you can do on vintage another favorite feature of mine is the fact that you can search it from like prices high to low i am a little bit of a cheapskate and i like to get the best value for my money so I normally do price low to high but sometimes I also like to see the newest and freshest of things so for example when the North Face jacket was really popular I will have clicked newest first because I wanted to see what's popping at the minute and who's selling what so this is a mess that I really need to sort out yeah, you heard the sound of me struggling to open my door because I genuinely just have so much stuff. It's piling out of there, which I'm very, very grateful that obviously I have this amount of clothes. But I would rather it go to a better home, hence the decluttering. I'd rather it not just sit in my wardrobe. I want one of you guys to wear it. So let's get started. So just to explain my wardrobe, this is coats and jackets in that wardrobe over there. Because yes, guys, if you have not watched me before, I do have two wardrobes. I bought this one because I needed more space. I then have underbed storage and I have a cabinet. I'm a hoarder. That is what I am. I'm a hoarder. I have clothes in here from like seven years ago. Crop tops. I haven't really grown in size up here. So I just wear the same thing that I bought seven years ago. So 
coats and then in this side i'll show you in a second but in there we have jumpers we'll go through that in a sec coat wise there's actually a lot that i'm wanting to get rid of not because the weather's getting warmer but because i just don't wear them i feel like it's still going to be cold for a little bit so i'm going to need some i'll keep some but for starters i want to get rid of stuff like this i've always not departed with it every single time i do put in my wardrobe i always tell myself that i'm gonna wear it one day and like even try and get on now i really like it with like the outfit i just think it looks super cute and i've had a few photos in it before so technically i have utilized it for the use that it was i'm pretty sure i brought this for a shoe but i've only really worn it like twice in an actual setting going out for warmth so it's not as thick as it seems it's quite a nice thing just to chuck on if you're not sure what the weather's going to be outside but i feel like it's time to depart with this one guys i've kept it in my wardrobe for four years i need to stop so that is my first item that is going on vintage obviously if you have any questions questions about any of the products i am going to be selling you can just message me on the vintage app it's super easy about any product that i upload i feel like a lot of this stuff is going to be uploaded you know a lot of cute little jackets that you can just chuck on i love this this one's actually a new purchase i just haven't worn it i feel like if you haven't worn it within maybe the first two months of buying it you need to depart because what what did you impulsively buy it for in the first place you know it's kind of cute i really like it but it's gotta go has it's gotta go so items like these i'm not going to be selling these are honestly staple pieces in my wardrobe i love these so much i can just chuck them on and chill in them but they also look so cute with some outfits so if anyone's wondering this is from brandy melville i had so many comments in my video with byron and anna when we were just doing like a mukbang so many of you wanted to know where this is from so it is from brandy if you guys do want to go get yourself so i do have a lot of colors in this so by the time i've gone through the whole wardrobe i might be selling a few so just check my vintage to see if it's there but i thought i'd help you out anyway this i definitely need to depart with i think i wore it once on a benefit trip when we went ice skating and i loved it it's done me well it has but i just don't wear it enough what's the thing if you declutter your wardrobe and you don't see yourself wearing it within five months time get rid of it i'm pretty sure and i don't see myself wearing this love the color beautiful material i just don't see myself in it anymore oh it's really cute though isn't it <gasps> see this is my issue this is my issue i try it on whenever i'm decluttering and i'm like oh kind of cute and then i want to keep it but it needs to go to a better home guys that's what i need to keep remembering it needs to go to a better home and it will, it will. this a big bulky coat i've never worn <laughs> you think i will have but i haven't but my issue is right so okay fine i'll try it on with you fine 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 so it's got a big hood i obviously don't want to be wearing this in the degree that i am filming this. but i just want to show you guys it has little like tags at the bottom obviously does all the way up and has massive pockets huge in fact so this is a 360 i really like it however i've worn it once and everyone that like i wore it around kind of didn't really like it i love it personally if i like it i'm gonna wear it but i also have this one which i got from urban revivo and for a few months i've been debating which one to keep but now i feel like this is the one i'm gonna keep they're very similar two different materials this is more on curve corduroy kind of like a corduroy coat not really maybe a bit in between this sits better on me i prefer where this sits that's a bit too oversized and this i have worn multiple times for about three years four years so this is the one i'm gonna keep because i can't depart with it <sighs> I need to be honest with myself. Blue was a phase that lasted for me probably two weeks. And I bought everything possible. A lot of the things I'm getting rid of are blue. And I love blue. It's my favourite colour. I just don't look good in it. So they're going as well. Oh my god. I'm being ruthless, guys. I really am being ruthless. Because this stuff needed to go a long time ago. I need to just do it and not think about it. Because otherwise I'll really regret my decision. This, I don't know why I got. Um, Colour's not really something I would wear ever. However... I do remember trying it on and really liking it because it's cropped. It's just not me. Guys, this isn't me, is it? You know what I mean? You'd not see me rocking up in this anytime soon. I mean, it goes with the outfit. It's quite cute, actually. It's another one for vintage. Another one bites the dust, darling. It's crazy to me that I actually have that much space in my wardrobe now. And that means I could probably hang crop tops up in here. There's a lot of crop tops that are a really, really fine material. Like this one, for example, and it's just folded up and put in my chest of drawers. Realistically, I should hang this up because it stops it from creasing and would also save me a lot of time every time I try it on to go and wear it. And I have to iron it a million times. So maybe, just maybe, we have found some space for some delicate items of clothing. So at the top of my wardrobe is where I keep like 
my big boots, my big chunky booty. And I have three pairs of these because I went through a weird phase where I impulse bought them all. And I don't know why I had to get every single style possible, but I did. So I'm gonna be selling these. These are a UK size six. So if you're a UK size six and you fancy some big stomper boots, then definitely be sure to hit me up. I really like these still. They're so cute, especially with like an oversized, maybe like sweater vest or something to die for. But I've just got too many of them and they need to go. That is so weird that my door now closes properly. <laughs> so here is the real mess guys this is um my pride and joy but it's also a massive issue of mine so up here we have skirts i really need to declutter this we then have leggings gym leggings i have a million and one but i don't work out very straight we then have chill t-shirts all of these down the bottom are like really colorful and i should probably wear them more as i said it's locked down i haven't really been doing much and i've just been wearing like joggers and a baggy t-shirt that no one would ever see so we then have joggers speaking of them darling pajamas we won't be going through pajamas guys. I rinsed those recently, you know vintage jumpers are also here I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna want to see some of these on my vintage I love vintage jumpers at the minute All I've been doing recently is buying secondhand jumpers and tops and just anything Anything I can get my hands on anything secondhand. So yeah vintage jumpers normal hoodies We then on the bottom have jeans and crop tops like long sleeve crop tops. So let's get going through through skirts coming up to summer let's do skirts first oh my god it's hefty that is a lot of skirts man okay let's put you down as you can see haven't even worn these yet because they've still got the tag on so not only do i have that in beige but i also have it in brown still with the tags on i'm awful i'm an awful human you just literally see me scratching my ass that's nice Sorry, haven't worn these in a while. I then have these. These are just really comfortable shorts. I've worn once again. Oh, would you look at that? More comfortable shorts. And one more time, more comfortable shorts. Do you know what? These are also comfortable shorts, but I think I'm gonna sell these. Not really my pattern anymore, not really my style. I'm pretty sure I also have the top somewhere, unless I sold that last time. These would definitely be going on my vintage. It's just not my style anymore. I can imagine me in them. I have worn them. Super cute. I actually have a photo in them right here. Super cute. But um not a bit of me, babe. It's not a bit of me. This skirt I love, but just because ain't got a big bundle it just doesn't look nice you know it doesn't really sit nice on my figure but um i can try it on for you guys so i can show you what i mean just slide that on up so i don't know if you can really see but i just don't like how it sits here makes me look like i've got a very flat bum you know let's pull the mirror this way so you can properly see can you see better now i don't really like it. it doesn't sit nice on my figure but maybe it worth one of you so i'd rather it go to someone who's gonna make it look nicer than me you know <gasps> i haven't seen this in ages <gasps> cute little pleated skirt this is a really cute outfit this is my favorite thing about decluttering your wardrobe you find so many things that you didn't realize you had so this is a real find you know what i mean okay same thing stands for this skirt as the crocodile skirt just does not fit right on me i'll show you it again this one because it's a bit of a harder material it just it does something weird by my back i think it's just generally because as i said i don't really have a bum but it's such a beautiful pattern. I love it so much. Do you know what I mean? They're really doing anything for my figure. That's why I'm selling that one. So this is a two-way skirt from Hissy Fit. So you can have the purple. And then you can also have the grey. I'm selling this because I bought it around festival season. And I love it. It is so cute. Like, literally, let me try it on. Oh, my God. It is to die for. It's incredible. Makes the waist look super snatched. But I'm just not really, not really feeling it. Not really a fan. My waist looks very snatched in this. I think the elasticated waistband really is helping me out. That's the back and yeah it's reversible you can change it super cute but i'm going to be selling it because i haven't worn it i think i'm also going to depart with my purple skirt guys i have a lot of checkered like a lot of checkered skirts or checkered tops or anything like that i used to be a massive fan of it but now it's not really my style anymore however if you're like ow i stole my toe however if you're really heavily into tiktok or like e-girl makeup or just like ego in general you dress really like alternatively maybe you'll be interested in this i feel like this is very that 
genre, you know? Very that aesthetic. Do a little dancey dance. Can't shake my bum in this, it's far too tight for me. I should also probably mention that a lot of the items I'm gonna be uploading will range from extra small to medium or size four to size eight, more so lightly, apart from like coats and jumpers. And I really wish I could be more inclusive than that, but that is just the size I wear. I can't really upload large because I don't own anything large unless it's like a jumper, as I said, or I don't know, maybe some joggers that I've been passed down. If you are looking for anything similar in different sizes, then obviously just search the Vinted app. But I'm sure you'll find so, so much on there. But I'm sorry that I can't be more inclusive in that way. Shorts like this, I'm obviously going to be keeping because we have summer coming up and I don't want to be sweating the bollocks in some joggers. These are my favorite shorts ever. Literally adore them. Just some cute little wide white shorts. I love to see it. These I'm gonna have to sell because pretty sure they don't actually fit me. I don't think I can actually get them on. Yep. Let me try and show you without falling off the bed. Yeah, these bad boys don't go on. So that's good to know. So I will be selling those. So that is actually it for the skirts and shorts. So let's put these back where they came from. Groovy. I'm not gonna touch the leggings. I sweat in those. No one wants those. T-shirts. Do I do t-shirts? Do you guys want t-shirts? Do you guys want t-shirts? You need to let me know. Do you want t-shirts? If you do, comment down below. Let me know if there is anything that you've seen that you would want. I don't mind departing with this stuff. I'll show you a few t-shirts. Unsure if I'm gonna upload them, just check my vintage. Let's get some of them done. Okay, so we have Trippy Red. This is from Cold Prince. Do you guys want this stuff? Like, I think it's really cute tucked into some jeans or it could be an oversized fit on you maybe. So, super cute. I just don't wear it. So, do you know what? I am gonna put this one in the pile just in case somebody does watch this and want it. Just let me know down below. We also have an Only the Blind t-shirt. This is a super cool brand. I'm gonna put that on as well, I think. I'm gonna keep my my Adidas, my Adidas blue. I love dark blue. Oh, also gonna keep my Dave. We love to see it. I think I'm gonna sell this one. What shirt is this? I'm not really sure what this is. I think I got sent it in. Oh, who's Astro World again? I'm honestly so stupid. I'm really gonna get hated on for that, but I just can't think of it is. Is it Travis Scott? Is it Astro World? Either way, this came in an order. I don't think I actually ordered it, but I thought the tube was kind of cool, so I kept it. Hey, on me in the comments because I didn't know who it is. <laughs> we then have my Crooked Tongues tee. Haven't worn this in literal two years. Just missed out my wardrobe. Same with this one. This is actually a really cool top. I like this one a lot. I'll just try it on for you groovy girls. So this is just a super cute tee. I think I got from Dolls Kill before I knew that they were really dodgy. So wouldn't recommend going out of your way and buying this, but if you wanted to buy it secondhand, obviously that's really good for the environment and all of that jazz. So yeah, super cute. I think it says bad boys clip on the back, doesn't it or something? Some cool little slogan anyway. So I'm also gonna put that on there. Jeez guys, we have a lot of clothes to sell. The rest are going back in the wardrobe. Joggers, do I wanna sell any joggers? I think I might sell these. These are my dolly mix joggers. So you guys literally will have seen me rinsing these in second year of uni, I believe. I have got a lot of uses out of these. They are super comfortable. I just don't really think the blue blue jogger vibe is, is my vibe anymore. It's just for waistband, super cute. It's cuffed on the bottom. Should we try them on for you guys? Oh, they just fit so perfect. Like, oh. Maybe I won't depart with these. Oh, this is an issue. This is an issue. I don't know when to depart with them. I feel like maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I'll keep these. Oh, I don't know, guys. Whoa, I shouldn't have cared myself. The pockets in this as well are massive. Huge, guys, huge. I don't know what to do. <laughs> do we keep them? Do I don't think I can depart with them yet. Oh, the cycle's already started. She wants to keep some items. I have a really good tip to fold your joggers, by the way, or your jeans. To get them like this, fold them in half. Make sure you've got this little poke out bit. And then you want to fold like so. Get the bottom. And you kind of want to open it halfway like this. Take it in. And boom. You have a beautifully folded jogger. Okay, so your guys' favourite part is vintage jumpers. I'm going to keep this one because I like it a lot. I wear it quite often. This, however, I'm going to sell. It is a vintage Nike jumper. I'll just show you guys how it sits on me. Because... This is the reason I'm selling it, actually. So this is how it fits. You can probably see in the mirror how it sits on the back as well. I'm not really a fan. I mean, it'd be very easy to tuck up like this. It's just not, not a bit of me. Love the colour. Love the brand. Just not a bit of me. 
Oh, an Alash jumper. You guys would have seen this in a TikTok, I believe. Definitely getting rid of this because I just don't wear it. I think I'm gonna depart with my Tommy Hilfiger jumper. It served me well. It looked really cute, guys. Matched with a pair of jeans, but I just don't wear it anymore. It needs to go. Oh, the next one is denim. And I really need to shift this, guys. I buy the same pairs of jeans in about five different sizes. And I just forget to send them back and then it goes past the return date and i have to keep them but also i buy the same jeans thinking they're going to be like a tiny little bit different maybe like the coloring is slightly more lighter i'm trying to look for some really really light jeans by the way if you guys know anywhere good hit a girl up and i end up keeping them because i just think oh maybe one day i'll wear those no i won't i won't at all so i think i'm gonna get rid of my flared jeans <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that. But they have a split at the bottom, super cute. I am wearing them in this photo. I just don't wear them. Every time I try them on, they don't really fit me well around this area. I'm just super insecure about this. So I don't really like how they fit me, but they're so cute. And I want someone hotter than me to wear them better than me. Thank you. Tommy jeans I need to depart with. I have lived these for many, many years. They're just not my style anymore. And I actually haven't worn them in a good two years. I love how they fit me though. They fit me so nicely. Super like hugging around the waist. Probably the best jeans to ever fit me. Why am I getting rid of these again? Can I remind myself? Let's try them on. Oh, maybe that's why. Oh, they're cute though, aren't they? Oh, they make your bum look peachy. Gorge. I like these a lot. Yeah, see what I mean? Best jeans to ever fit me. They're just like, make your bum look good. I love this big badge. I just love how they fit in general. But the pattern's just not me anymore, you know, guys? The pattern's just not me. Here I am again. I'm not getting rid of clothes because I'm a hoarder. Do you know what? I kind of want to get rid of these. However, they are a little bit worn. So obviously when I upload them onto Vinted, I will tell you guys this condition of every single product and yeah these i just they're they're not even that old they just look really warm i think it's because there was a time where i worn them so much there's not any markings or anything on them they just are a little old they're low waisted soups cute i shall put them on vintage for you guys this is really helping me out I feel like i'm just like de-stressing you know oh my god i also have some jeans here i'm gonna get rid of these balloon white jeans they're a little bit too big for me i don't actually know why i kept them or do i want to keep these Oh, see guys, this is a struggle. I think I'm gonna keep them. I'm awful, I'm awful. But in my defense, we have a lot of clothes here, a lot. I've probably got like 30 items already and I'm only on one wardrobe, so. I'm doing all right, I'm doing all right. I'm definitely getting rid of this top. I bought it in a set from Opoly and have sold the bottoms, but I don't know why I ever kept it. I don't have the facilities for that big man. I don't have the chicken fillets. You know, I don't have the boobies, so I don't know why I kept them. But it is a very beautiful top for anyone who has like a similar body type to me, but maybe you got a little bit of sun in there because I don't have that. That's going on my vintage. Guys, I found the top that goes with the shorts, which means you can buy a full cohort set now. Oh my god, I love this so much. It's like super cute, it like wraps around here. Oh my god, it's so cute. I literally love it. I literally love it so much. I'm gonna sell a lot of these little crop tops as well because my top drawer is full of them and I don't wear them. So we have a cute little halter neck. Let's actually tie this, shall we? Cute little halter neck that ties at the back. This is gonna be so cute for someone. But I've just never worn it and I'd love it to go to a better home. We have this green kind of tie-dye color. This is from Misguided and it's a corset top, but without the actual corset in it. It's really confusing. I bought it thinking it was gonna be like hard and ribbed, but it's just ribbed. So it doesn't like do anything for the puppies. It doesn't like push it up or anything. So if this is more your style, if you don't really like the corset vibe you want to look like you got the corset vibe this top is perfect for you we have this oh my god this is from minga so cute it's just not my fashion sense anymore i kind of went through the cute girl phase and i faded out of it very quickly but i've never worn this believe it or not i think i wore it in a try on haul and that was about it but it's such good quality and minga is a sustainable brand i believe so uh you're being even more sustainable by buying from a sustainable brand second hand you know what i'm saying we then have this i love this this gives me very freya vibes but i i'm a person that sweats a lot i'll be honest i get really nervous about people seeing my sweat marks so i don't like to wear dark colors that will like easily show but if you don't sweat profusely like me then you can have this top because that's my issue we then have this cute little top i think you guys saw this in my ebay try on haul super cute just doesn't suit my aesthetic anymore. I love it, but I can't have it. Okay, same with this. I love it so much. It is such an incredible material. I love the frilled sleeves. Like, honestly, such a 
cute feature of his hot. But I don't like the slogan. I don't like the fact it says self-love. I mean, good for you, self-love and all that, of course. But I just don't really like slogans on tees. It's, it's not something I like. So this is also going in the cell pile another item that i really want to get rid of because i haven't worn it yet is this cute bratz hoodie i know you guys are gonna absolutely go wild about this i remember when bratz was a massive phase and that's when i bought it they do loads of other colors like purple and blue and stuff but green is so in right now so i got the green so yeah it is a what size is this it's, it's very oversized on me i'm pretty sure this is a large so yeah it sits really oversized super cute super cute to chill around in but also would look really nice as an outfit photo maybe with some like knee high socks or something you know next we have this frank ocean hoodie i love this so much it's so comfortable again though i'm getting rid of so much blue i went through such a blue phase and i'm not really feeling it anymore so yeah nothing wrong with it brand new i think i wore it once for a photo but aside from that never worn it so the brand's spanking new baby so this one i'm actually really annoyed about i bought it and realized that the color was a lot lighter than what i wanted it i thought it was going to be dark brown like this type of colour but it wasn't sadly so I've just never worn it and it has been sat in my wardrobe ever since I was looking for someone to give it away to but everyone kind of has the same opinion like it's just not the brown that we want so yeah that's that's going in the pile, babes. So I've been decluttering for that long that the sun has actually gone down and I still am not done. I'm going to be here for a while, guys. Probably all night until tomorrow morning, but that's fine as long as I'm decluttering and getting rid of some stuff and making space for some new things or just in general making space, then I'm happy. So if you guys do want to check out Vintage, just a quick little reminder, then definitely check the link in my description. If you want to go follow my Vintage, my username is just the same as this, but I'll also pop it on the screen for you guys and hopefully you also set up a little wardrobe and start selling your clothes in time for summer. Let's have a cute ass wardrobe, but also whilst having money in the bank. It is a good feeling selling clothes and then getting new ones with the same money. It's just like an endless cycle and I just think it's really, really good. I'm also going to split these clothes down the middle because I do have a lot behind me. I've got a good 60 items. So I'm going to split them down the middle and we have a charity donation box downstairs, which I'm just going to pop those clothes in. I'm not really too sure what is gonna be on i think i'm literally just gonna split the pile and then we'll see but before i do that if there is anything that you guys do want then do let me know in the comments head straight up to my vintage and i'll upload it all and the stuff that doesn't sell within the first 24 hours i'll probably just donate that but yeah that is it for today's video thank you so so much for watching i hope this has encouraged you to declare your wardrobe maybe or just clean your room i don't know i find watching things like this so encouraging to do things myself i remember i used to watch someone clean their whole house and it would encourage me to clean my room so so maybe this is your little lockdown task who knows but yeah thank you vintage for sponsoring this video and thank you so so much for watching i love you all so much and i will see you in the next video guys